figure out the future of relationships of Japanese. And the questions are as follows. Uh, very firstly, uh, we asked, are you assured that you have friends? And secondly, we ask what quality you want in your friends. And thirdly, describe the difference between friend and best friend. And fourthly, we ask, uh, okay, do you think we can establish friendship beyond the sex? And we also ask a decision question, and we, which we talked about later. And we ask, uh, when do you feel to end friendship with your friend? And first, uh, we would like to give you the result of co Japanese cognition of friendship. According to the survey, uh, question number two, what quality you want in your friend? We have a variety of answers such as the time that we that share and give and take and ease and profit or something like that. And <clears throat> the question number five, no six, uh, when do you feel to end friendship with your friend? And we have uh, a friend who doesn't care about everyone and or being self-centered and uh, do you I uh, know describe the difference between friend and best friend and almost all of them all of them answered ease in Japanese yasuragi so we can observe that uh, boundaries of friend and best friend is uh, mental ease. Then let's move on the process uh, when the relationship starts and friendship, <coughs> boundaries of friendship and relationships. And uh, we, we made uh, this graph, no, this drawing. And uh, first, the physical opportunity which means uh, meeting friend, not meeting the strangers, or exchange email and mailing together. And next, uh, we find the similarities so that we can we can share our information. And we, if we had uh, many similarities, then we have stronger relationships. On the other hand, when we have a few similarities, we might have weaker relationship. And and okay, if we have stronger relationships and they keep continue to talking to each other or hanging around each other, we might we thought that would make a friendship. And on the other hand, if we had a few similarities and a few time and you know long distance or something, then that makes a superficial friendship, which means a not true friendship just know each other, but not so deeply. Uh, okay, variety of relationships. I'd like to tell you about uh, relationships. There are commonly two types of relationship. One is the relationships between the same sex, man to man, woman to woman. And second one is the opposite sex, woman to man, right? Uh, there's an exception, intersex or something, but let's forget about it. And there is a book that titled You Just Don't Understand, who is written by the Deborah Tennant in August 1st, 2001. And she, she mentioned that uh, we, when we have the same sex relationships, well, men to men have the, uh, no, relationship between the same sex has individual features. And when it comes to man to man relationship, there is a directness in the society. And on the other hand, when it comes to women society, that would be indirect. So it contains a more honne and semai in the society and um, it seems a little bit more complex comparing from the men's society. 
and taking this assumption, uh, there is a question. Can we establish a good relationship between these opposite sex, having the different society, different world? Pretend this is you, and um, you were asked to eat a dinner with your girlfriend or boyfriend.
but uh, your friend and your boyfriend, girlfriend, don't know your situation. What would you say to them? Or which will you choose? Friends or boyfriend, girlfriend? Um, according to the survey, male had these answers. Uh, most of males tend to choose girlfriend uh, more than friends. And uh, their excuse was, I'm sorry, I have a date with my girlfriend. And female had the answers. Uh, also, most of female tend to choose boyfriend rather than friends. And their excuse was, uh, thank you for asking me, but uh, I have appointment today, so I can't go with you. Maybe I'm all day. And uh, the ex exceptional answers was, let's go together, or in the morning, <laughs> uh, I will play with friends, but in the afternoon, I will uh, go on a date with uh, my boyfriend or girlfriend. So from these answers, we could know the priority of fr friendship and love between male and female. Male has a strong con consciousness to the friendship, but they have a priority to girlfriends. Uh, their way to refuse to uh, their way to refuse the appointment <coughs> is direct, try, trying to suggest another in order to play with friends. But female also has a priority to love, and as we said from from the girls' friendship system, they tend to refuse the appointment indirect and has a fe fear to split the friendship in those in that situation. So Kali will conclude. As we explain the difference of the friendship of each sex, we can also see the character in each sex. And we learn that making friends with opposite sex it's not impossible, it can be. But the meaning of the friendship with a four both sex is totally different. I mean, there is a difference between friendship with opposite sex and with same sex. As you said, uh, you can, you cannot say it. For men, they tend to say something directly to their friends but in the other hand, for, male, for female, they tend to say something to their friend indirectly. So the difference makes them selective when they are friends with opposite sex. For example, I, can, I cannot say something to Yuki, but if I were a man, I might say something to Yuki, which I couldn't say to opposite sex. I think most of them, or most of you, has experienced like that situation. So in, conclu in conclusion, friendship can be changeable. In this moment, it might be, might have been changing. So we never maintain the relation in the, in the same position. Therefore, changing the attitude for each friend is the key to maintain a good relation. It will connect it to friendship and love. That's for our own presentation. Thank you for listening. Okay, 